Hey violinists of YouTube, in today's video we're going to be talking about fifths, how to play fifths on the violin, so stick around to the end of the video. Let's talk about fifths. A fifth is, let's say, our violin is actually tuned in fifths, so we have E, A, D, G, and these are all tuned in fifths, unlike a, a double bass which is tuned in fourths. And in this case, our violin is tuned in fifths, and when we tune our violins, they should have a nice, beautiful wave, a sound wave that matches the string and the frequency. You'll hear that. Actually, it's a little out of tune. Sorry about that. And then, and then, and then you have G, G and D. However, how do you play a fifth, a perfect fifth, with using a finger? Well, we are going to talk about that today. So in this video, we are going to figure out how to place the fingers on the fingerboard on both strings. So let's go ahead and put the first finger on the A and the D string. Let's see if I can get a good perfect fifth in. And if you'll hear closely, we are wanting that beautiful uh, match in frequency like we have on the open strings. And the way we do that with the finger is we want nice flat fingers. Some people prefer uh, finger tips, but I like to adjust the fifth just in case if it's in a performance setting and it's out of tune, for instance. I like to have the, 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 the fleshiest part of my finger to help with that fifth. So let's go ahead, we're gonna do first, second, third finger on the A and the D string. We'll go to the second finger. And sometimes even like in that section right there, I'm, I'm always working on fifths and fourths, thirds and sixths. And it, you know, having a perfect fifth is really difficult. So it's always about adjusting that finger to see if it is going to sound in tune. Another thing to think about is hitting the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I do a lot of violin content on the YouTube channel, so I appreciate your support. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified when new videos come out. Okay, back to the fifths. So the way I like to put the finger on this fingerboard is actually, it is kind of, it, you kind of have to play around with it depending on what your fingers in like the, the widths and how much flesh you have on your um, on your finger. I tend to go a little bit more towards the side here and that's how I get a little bit more, I can, I can adjust a little bit more as opposed to this way where I'm coming from the top of the fingerboard as, a, as opposed to the bottom. So I'm really constantly adjusting this way, the sideways motion, either here or here, and this is actually a big difference in violin world. So let me give you an example of the way that's a fifth. And if you notice, if I adjust my finger ever so slightly, one of the notes are in tune, however the other note is not in tune. And then there comes a question, should you vibrate fifths? Should you do use vibrato on fifths? Well. In my opinion, you should not, because you're going to mess with the frequencies of both strings, of both notes, um, but you're not, you're not gonna get that much good intonation unless you are absolutely in tune. Personally, like in music like Bach, for instance, I don't use vibrato on perfect fifths, perfect fourths, so that way the, the harmony is not messed up with the vibrato. You could argue this, you know, if you're a violinist and you like to use vibrato and you vibrate fourths or fifths, you know, I won't hold it against you and there are people out there. I, it's just my personal preference because I wanna make sure I have really good intonation on those fourths and those fifths. Another question that comes up is that how do you play fifths as you move up the fingerboard? Well, <laughs> your life gets a little harder, unfortunately. So you have to use a little bit more flat finger. You're gonna be something like this as opposed to like this. So you wanna get as much finger pad on the violin fingerboard as much as possible. And then. And you may notice what I'm doing, I'm not actually, there is not an equal amount of pressure on both strings, on the A and the D string. I'm using actually more 
finger pad on the A string than I am on the D string. I'm actually putting it this way. The side of my finger right over here actually touches the D string just enough for me to make that fifth. Okay, there we go. Yeah, sorry, the camera was trying to focus on the, the finger. So this is what we want. If we do too much of this, when the finger, when, the, when this finger is too much on the D string, then we're not gonna get an in-tune fifth. And let me demonstrate that right now. It's already really, really poorly out of tune. So that's what I want you to take out of this video is for you to really figure out your the anatomy of your finger, see if you can use fingertip, finger pad, for me it's finger pad, and last but not least, do not press really hard on the fingers. You don't, you, you don't want that because if you, I mean you can if it works for you, but for me, you wanna press just enough You want to press just enough for the resonance to happen and for the notes to be in tune. And if you're learning how to play a fifth on the violin, then that is what you should focus on. You should focus on making sure that the fingers are nice and relaxed going on the fingerboard. Really, really soft touch. And sometimes you may not have that luxury because maybe your bridge is too high and then the action between the finger, uh, fingerboard and the string is too high. And that's where I would you know, go to a luthier, see if you wanna lower the bridge a little bit, if it's not going to affect the sound of the instrument at all. I would talk to your teacher to see if um, the most effective way to play fifths. This is just a video for your reference. You know, some, some people are going to argue with me to you know, whether you wanna vibrate fourths or fifths. I personally don't, but maybe your teacher will. And you know, that's okay, it's just a matter of preference and style. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I wanna give you a gift uh, just as a thank you for watching this video. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my community. I wanna give you an intro to violin free e-course. And what this course will do is will teach you what you need to think about before you start the violin, uh, before you start playing the violin, before you start even looking for a teacher. This e-course gives you the tools and gives you the information on what to look for in a violin teacher, how to set your mindset before you start playing a violin. That's what I speak about in this e-course and you can get a free copy down in the YouTube description below. And again, thanks so much. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications so that way you get notified when new videos come out. Also make sure you check out other videos on the channel. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.